All right, strength team, we right back. We got day five. If all of y'all are following this program, I guarantee you are like me and you are sore. You can feel your legs from your yesterday's workout. You'll feel your chest still a little bit sore. You feel your back and your lats tight. If you're following this program, I will almost guarantee, you know what, matter of fact, I will guarantee you will make noticeable gains. I am not lying. I'm not just doing this just to do it. I'm doing this because it's working for me and I guarantee it will work for you. But like I say, this is day number five. We got all shoulders with just a little bit of triceps. And actually we'll probably throw just a little bit of chest in. But like I say, it's a super set Friday. Even though it drops Thursday, I'm a day in, I'm a day in front of y'all. Our first exercise what we got, we got the seated side raise with the dumbbell rear, uh, rear delt flies. So it's a super set. So so you're literally going to pick a light weight and start off and progress up. I think my weight was like 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, and 25 pounds was my heavy set. We got side raises. As you're seeing in the video, I'm staying pretty strict. Although you see a little bit of motion, you don't see a whole lot of rocking. I'm not listening to no crazy music. That makes me just rock like that. You got to keep the tension on your shoulders. And we got four sets. We're going to do 10 to 20 reps. This is high reps. And we're going to superset it like you're seeing in the video with the rear delt flies. Same thing with the rear delt flies. It's such a small muscle. Make sure you use a light weight where you can really pull and squeeze. The best way for me to explain how you do your rear delt is that like you got a rope and you're just pulling the rope apart. When you do that, oh my gosh, it's perfect and you will feel your rear delts come alive. But make sure you're not squeezing your back a lot because you'll feel your traps come in. So if you feel your traps coming in, nine out of 10 times the weight is too heavy. So go ahead and drop the weight. But the same thing with that, we got four sets. 10 to 20 reps. Every single exercise is a superset. This, it, this whole workout should not take you no longer than 50 minutes, one hour at the most. Don't, don't take a lot of time in your rest because it's not a lot of compound movements, so it's just a lot of isolation, so you should fly through this workout. But our second exercise, we got the lateral machine, and we superset net with the rear delt machine. Just like you're seeing in the video, make sure you're keeping it strict. Don't worry about going super heavy. Focus on the rear delts and the side delts and make them work. Keep it under tension. Like if you see in the video, I'm, when I'm doing my side delts, I'm coming up right here and then I'm going down about 80%, keeping the tension still on the side delts and going right back in. I'm not going crazy or nothing like that. I'm really trying to make my side delts grow and that is going to help you if you try it just like that. And we're the same thing with the rear delts. Keep it strict form. Make sure your form is strict. Try not to be jerking it. Same thing with the rope. Act like you got a rope and just pull that rope and I promise you your rear delts will come alive. On this exercises, we got three sets, 10 to 15 reps. Add, add weight every set, just like on your first two exercises. And then we're going to go to the side cable raise, and we're going to superset that with the rope face pulls. We got three sets, and we're going to stay between 10 to 12 reps. With this, it's kind of self-explanatory. You really can't mess this up. The only way you can mess it up if you go too heavy for your side raises. Now, we got the standing shoulder press. You may be a lot stronger than you're going to be right now, but you just did a lot of superset work, so you're going to be exhausted. So take your ego and just tell it to go sit out in the car and tell it you'll be out there in a minute. Because trust me, you embarrass yourself and hurt yourself. I'm using 95 pounds, and I think my working set was 115 pounds, so that's very light. But like I said, we got three sets, and so we're going to stay between 8 to 12 reps, and we're going to superset that with the front raises with the dumbbells. Same exact thing, where it's a superset, there's no need to go heavy on nothing. Like I think I'm using 10 pounds for my uh, dumbbell front raises, and I got 10 to 12 reps on each set. It's a superset, so do not go heavy. I repeat, do not go heavy. And after we finish with that, we're going to do a little bit of shrug work. And this is called an advanced dumbbell shrug. Most times when you see people do a shrug, it's just kind of just straight up and down. You know what I mean? They just go up and down. But as you're seeing in the video, this one, you sit down, you pull up. And when you get halfway up, pull back and squeeze. Pull up, pull back and squeeze. This hits your traps in a way that no other shrug that could possibly do. Definitely try this out. I highly, highly, highly stand by it and I highly recommend it. And that's a super set and we're going to super set that with the close grip lap pull down. We got three sets and we're going to stay between 12 to 20 reps. I know you're thinking, damn, right, that is a lot of reps, but trust me, high volume. Especially if you're natural, you have got to train with high volume or you're not going to make no gains. You already got to work twice as hard, so go ahead every time you go in the gym, make that session count. Then we're going to go ahead and do just a little bit of work for our chest like I was saying we got the cable flies the top pulley and if you're blessed to have a gym that's got different notches use it and make sure that the notch is right there at your uh, wherever your shoulder is so stand up next to it put it where your shoulder is and that's where you're at 
Me, my gym doesn't have that, so we either got top or bottom, so I just put it at the top. You wanna bring the weight right across under your chin, that way it hits the top portion of your chest, and then we're gonna superset that with the tricep standing with the rope attachments, extensions. We got three sets for 12 to 15 reps on both of these. Now you're done, but see me, I wanted a little bit more work, so what I did, I went ahead and did one more exercise for my chest, so as you're seeing in the video, I'm doing chest flies on a machine, and I'm supersetting that with the side delts. Like I told y'all, in this off season, my goal is to bring up my chest, as you see in the video, I'm trying to bring up my chest and I'm trying to bring up my side delts. Those are two of my weaknesses, so I've got to put all kinds of work and effort into them to make them come up. But like I say, this is day five. We got shoulders with a little bit of triceps and chest. I hope y'all keep following these programs and I hope you're making all these gains. Like I said, I got a, a gain certified diet coming out. I should drop it either Saturday or Sunday. And if you're seriously trying to make some serious gains, follow that diet and I guarantee it, you will make every gain that you want. You'll reach all your goals. And I think you could budget it and you probably get away with like 70, 70 to $80. Just get all generic and off brand stuff and you will be able to get it week to week. So that's not bad because you think you can go out to eat, you'll spend $70 on one meal. So it just depends on how serious you are about your gains. And I'm serious about mine. But anyways, like I tell you in all the videos, make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe. But what do I always say? Keep getting them games.